Okay, so in this video we're going to have a little bit more of a look at the list views and what you can actually do with those to customize them. So we use the parts list, we'll go into the parts area, and we can see our list view here, so we've got our SKU number, our name, our category, sizes, weights, volumes, and so forth. So there's a lot of things that you can actually do here. We've touched on them in some of the other earlier videos, but you can, you can sort these, so ascending, descending, so we can just do that if we actually want to sort them in a different order. We can grab the columns and we can drag them. So we could actually make these bigger if it was too small, if your description doesn't quite fit. So you can chop them around like that. You can actually drag the columns and move them wherever you like. So if you want to reorder them, you can change them around like that. And you can also hide columns as well. So if we didn't want to have the weight, for example, oh, sorry, the volume here, we could click in here and hide the field. Okay, so that one's gone. And we can also add items here as well. So if we want to modify this, so we'll click on Table View and Modify. Okay, and then when you come in here, so you have the items that are already listed. If you want to go to Add Something Else, we can click into Add Fields. And we could put in, let's say, we'll take the average unit price. So we'll actually add that field in here as well. We'll say OK. And I'll just bring that over. Move that. Okay, so now we've got our average unit price in there as well. So you can pretty much customize these list views to show anything you want. Uh, once you've customized it, as we've shown in some of the other tutorials, you can then print these list views or you can export them out to CSV as well.